Good morning and welcome to the 15th meeting of Session 6 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Before we move to the first item on the agenda, I'd like to remind everyone present to switch their mobile phones to silent. The first item of business is to decide whether to take items 6 and 7 in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? Yes. Under agenda item number 2, we are considering an instrument made under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. The committee is considering if the appropriate scrutiny procedure and the appropriate categorisation have been applied to SSI 2022-138, the Environment and Trade and Animals and Related Products EU Exit Scotland Miscellaneous Amendment Regulations 2022. The instrument makes amendments to various pieces of primary and secondary legislation to ensure that environmental protection legislation continues to operate effectively following the UK's withdrawal from the European Union. Is the committee content that the appropriate scrutiny procedure and categorisation have been applied to this instrument? Yes. Under agenda item number three, we are considering instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. The, this agenda item was amended on Friday due to two emergency SSIs being laid by the Scottish Government. They are the draft Private Landlord Registration Modification Scotland Order 2022 and the draft Rehabilitation of Offenders Act 1974, Exclusions and Exemptions, Homes for Ukraine Sponsorship Scheme, Scotland Amendment Order 2022. The aim of these instruments is to ensure that the appropriate level of disclosure checks can be undertaken on all individuals who are being assessed as suitable to provide accommodation under the Homes for Ukraine Sponsorship Scheme to help provide safer housing options for those fleeing the war in Ukraine. The Scottish Government is seeking to have these SSIs come into force on the 12th of May 2022. As I said before, the Committee needs to, sufficient time to properly consider each and every SSI laid before the Parliament to make sure that they are correct as a matter of law. However, members will have seen a letter from Gerard Hart, the Chief Executive of the Schools of Scotland, explaining the reasons for the urgency of these instruments. I have allowed them to be added to the agenda today. I nevertheless reserve the right for the Committee to look at these instruments again next week, should any issues subsequently be found. We could then write to the Scottish Government to highlight these. Whilst taking that into account, is the Committee content with these regulations? Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on the Draft Companies Act 2006, Scottish public sector companies to be audited by the Auditor General for Scotland, Order 2022, and the Draft Non-Domestic Rates Valuation Notices, Scotland Regulations 2022. Is the Committee content with these instruments? Under agenda item number four, we're considering instruments subject to the negative procedure. An issue has been raised on SSI 2022-137, the Genetically Modified Food and Feed Authorisations, Scotland Regulations 2022. This instrument authorises five new types of genetically modified maize and soybean products for use in food and animal feed sold in Scotland. It also renews authorisation for the continuing use of four genetically modified maize products. The committee has identified a document referencing error in Schedules 3, 4 and 7 of the instrument. In response to correspondence with the Committee, the Scottish Government acknowledged that there is a referencing error in the instrument, but does not consider it necessary to correct the error. The correspondence is published online in Paper 3. Does the Committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament under the general reporting ground in respect of an error in paragraphs 4.2 of Schedules 3, 4 and 7? And does the committee wish to call upon the Scottish Government to amend the instrument to correct these errors at the next legislative opportunity? Yes. Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSIs 2022, 138 and 148. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. And in relation to SSI 2022, 138, does the committee wish to welcome that the instrument corrects a drafting error previously identified by the committee at its meeting on the 19th of April? Yes. Under agenda item number five, we are considering instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSIs 2022-146 and 150. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. Uh, thank you. And with that, I'll move the committee into private. Thank you.